I'm at grid reference 61 now. Seismic charge 14. Ready for placement. Placing it now. Oh, no. We seem to have some surface instability here. Don't go poking it around, you idiot. The whole area could be loose. Just leave the charge and get back in here. Hold on. I think there's something in here. If it turns out to be you, you're on your own. I'm not digging you out. I'm a surveyor, not a St. Bernard. God! God! Look at this. Look at what? What have you found? It seems I found what I came to Mars for in the first place. Fame, fortune, and a first-class ticket home. <laughs> Welcome to the moon, Mr. Larwood. Daniel. <laughs> Colin Davis. Screen on, file Daniel Larwood. Well, the journalists, we are honoured. Is that an order or merely a pious hope? <laughs> the voice of controversy. If that's booze, that's a big mistake out here. Mm. It's probably a big mistake anywhere, but then mistakes are what make us human, no? Out here, mistakes are what make you dead. Hello, pal. Hey, they told me you were a top cop now, but I stuck up for you anyway, kid. Still polishing your Pat O'Brien impression, Daniel. Had to give it up. Couldn't get the accent. Couldn't write like Ben Hecht either, unfortunately. So you settled for a more general image. Drunken hack. May I? Mm. Water. Water? Oh, I love a good miracle, don't you? <laughs> you always were a phony, Daniel. Well, what brings you to the moon, Daniel? Are you uh, working on a particular story? Yeah, I hope so, Colin. Though these days I am, in fact, not that particular. <laughs> Were you ever? Well, your clearances are in order. Have a nice day. Ah. Use it sparingly, Daniel. You won't find another source out here. <laughs> you know, I liked you better as a student, pal. Well, why wouldn't you? I believed what you said in those days. <laughs> well, I told you I was a journalist. I believed that, too. Oh, no, no. You were a disappointment to me, too, you know. I mean, I was quite put down when I realized that you and your friends weren't quite as radical as your reputation suggested. Well, it was a pity your story didn't say that. I actually did. But then, any mention at all of the word anarchist, and people always see red. 
Keep in touch. Depend on it. Water in a hip flask. <laughs> the brandy was in his bag. Yeah, I know. I seem picky, but that is a violation. Well, he was a friend once. Wouldn't like to see him going blind on shuttle fuel. Are you kidding? Those blokes in main shuttle repair make their own scotch out of that stuff. It's better than the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, does it seem like a good idea to have a thirsty journalist find that out? Is that the sort of story he's looking for? No. Oh, Daniel Larwood doesn't look for stories. He acts strictly on information received. So you reckon this is something special? There's something cooking, Colin. There's definitely something cooking. So that's what a Martian looks like. Ugly little bugger, isn't he? Can you lift it out? Now, look, you, you do understand the risk that we're taking. We seem to have talked about nothing else since we left Mars. Can we stop wasting time? OK, as long as you're sure. I'm sure I need money. Well, a picture of that thing is going to be worth a fortune. Let's get on with it. We're running out of time. I'm sorry, Alex. You of all people must realize I simply do not have the authority to get rid of this Larwood character, even if I wanted to. Why is he here? Yes. Why is he here? We don't want reporters nosing around. No? I have an important guest. Yes, I know. And how come we weren't informed of that? Dr. Philpott is here by official invitation. I do not wish him to be harassed. Who by reporters or ISPF? Three maintenance engineers report to loading bay nine. Alex, I what exactly is it you want? Three maintenance engineers we are friends, are we not, Nathan? You. you trust me, eh? You trust my, my good intentions? Yes, well, the road to hell is paved with those. You will deal with this journalist for me? Yes, of course. Good. If he breaks the law. I took it for granted that the local constabulary would cooperate more readily than that. I fear no one likes to be taken for granted, Dr. Philpott. Least of all, come out of spring. Look, Alexander, confidentiality is absolutely essential, you realize. Without we it, have, we're... We have the cover story, if it is needed. Yes. And if the press believe it. <sighs> Why should they not? Why should your policeman not do as he was asked? <coughs> Drinks machines. <coughs> they don't improve, do they? Nice to have something to rely on. Tell me, Mr. Larwood, just what is your interest in Dr. Philpot? Have I got one? Yeah, there's a feeling round here that you might have. Paranoia, clearly. But you do know who he is. He works at the Holy Museum, Southern California. Yeah. Museum with all the money in the world, eh? Reputed to have so much they don't bother counting it anymore. They just take it out from time to time and wait. <laughs> well, Philpot is one of their hundred or so curators known collectively as the bumbling herd. Well, not just paranoia, then. Mm. Routine information. Oh, yes, yes, of course. It's the kind of information you're bound to have on somebody you're not interested in. Well, I've been doing some stuff on the holy, as it happens. Well, well, small moon, isn't it? Uh, a sense of humor. Not that common in policemen, in my experience. Ah. I was under the impression you found most policemen uh, humorous. Mm. What was that article that you wrote for Atlas News, wasn't it? A series entitled Cops and Robbers, Plain Man's Guide to the Differences. <laughs> yes, I was working well, didn't you think? Well, I'm not really qualified to judge. Oh, several of your colleagues felt qualified to judge. In fact, quite a few of them volunteered to be jury and executioner, too. I took to carrying a gun there for a while. Well, people get carried away. In body bags. That was the thought that bothered me. Nothing need worry about out here. No. You'll protect me. Yes. And everyone else who stays within the law? Oh, that sounds like a warning. Oh, paranoia, clearly. <laughs> An academic, perhaps. Uh, for I hear you'll often visit Mars soon, anyway. <laughs> Oh. Oh, well. More routine information? Oh, common knowledge, surely. You're off to extend the Star Cop Empire to the rugged pioneers of the Martian colonies. Yes, yes. yes. I thought it was about time I recruited some little green men. Oh. Are there any little green men? So you have heard that rumor, then? No. <laughs> it's just that where there's living, there's policemen, Mr. Larwood. 
Can I quote you? Oh, yes, certainly, you may. Excuse me, I'm sure you'll think I'm very rude, but aren't you Daniel Lowood? Yeah, that's right, Miss... Uh... Well, we've never met, but I'm a great admirer of your work. Oh, thank you. I knew there had to be one, and you don't even look like my mother. Would you think me very silly if I asked for an autograph? Well, I'd think you very silly if you didn't. Who shall I make it to? Jane. Ah, to dear Jane, who ain't so plain. <laughs> Daniel Lowe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>